Hello and welcome. This is gonna be a walkthrough of my one of my newest deck because I got one since then, so it can be the newest one. And this was a gift from the lovely Madwitch, whose artwork you can see on top of the deck. And I'm just really grateful for her for sending me this deck and for even uh, including her artwork and some um, lavender and feathers even so I have a lot of you know goodies not just the deck I'm gonna put it here and um, if I don't know, have no idea what's on screen and what's not at the moment because the light situation is killing me so <laughs> I will need to look into more how to fix that so this is a deck, it's the Chaotic uh, Tree Oracle which is not just an oracle deck but why I immediately was like oh, I would like to get this deck because it uses the... I don't want to say it... Ongum? Ah, I don't know the name exactly I thought that it would be displayed better but it's not, whatever you will see quickly I mean quickly ah it's it's early in the morning so <laughs> these are the cards hopefully there's enough light because it's December and it's gloomy and I like the box actually it's rich there's a piece of paper to protect it I guess And this is the... I really wanted to say the name... Oh, Ogan. O Ogan. Ovam or Om. Hmm. Om. There's no G. Whatever. That's, that's what I'm talking about. So the Oracle cards are using that system. And I've seen it in Simon's videos a few times that he uses them but I had no idea you know what what they are so I thought that getting um, a guidebook uh, getting an oracle deck that incorporates the system would be the nice way to start with it I really like the back I think it's quite beautiful and it's that Irish um, green I mean if there's such a thing I mean there's a lot of uh, green that's called Irish and maybe this is the darker version because yeah okay I I have no idea what I'm talking about this this one is a very good one I, I can already tell you and I think I'm just frustrated by the fact that I can't see my screen so I don't know what you guys are seeing but hopefully it's gonna be, you know, not a useless video. So, let's just quickly walk, go through the cards and then check one in the guidebook. The first one is, oh god, Bathe Birch. And the Ogam, or Om, or how do you say that, is uh, drawn underneath the leaf or illustration. And even though the deck has this, you know, border <laughs> within border at this very moment I don't feel like I want to cut it off because I kind of like the old uh, paper look of the outside one and I like the Celtic um, pattern here second is yeah I'm not gonna even try to pronounce these that would be ridiculous so let's just enjoy the cards, hopefully. <laughs> and like I said, I have no idea what uh, the symbols mean or I, uh, what actual trees represent. So this is going to be a great study deck because I don't think I can get anything out of uh, a deck like this if I don't know the system. I mean, I could, you know, just bullshit something about spring and new beginnings or blooming, flowering, but that would be just, you know, a reach. And I don't 
in, in a bad, bad kind of way. Oh, I love these colors. It's like autumn in a painting. So it's really beautiful. And it ha the cards are the shiny kind, but I kind of like the way they feel. Tin holy. Is it tin holy? Or is it something else again? <gasps> oh, cool hazel. I like the purplish hue of this one. I'm so very curious what these mean. You know, the symbols. And how you can actually use them, because I've never, I don't think I've seen a reading, if you can even use them for readings. I, I, I don't really know what you can use them for. So this is just a really first impression. <laughs> I just <laughs> killed the plant like that. <laughs> I'm very unlucky with the plants that I put on my prosperity <laughs> altar, so I have to look into that. Let me go to read. So, what was I saying? So yeah, this is just a really first impression without knowing, knowing anything, so I'm quite curious how the cards will be, how the deck will be when I start using them. And there's gonna be a six months in video somewhere along the you know the road so let's see oh this is the one i think yeah the course i was lucky to be able to visit scotland i know it's not ireland but scotland and i've seen these everywhere and i was told that they the locals look at the this plant as you know weed but i was just oh god i love them all the yellow everywhere it was just so beautiful. So yeah, let's just check that one later. Wow, this is how missile looks. <laughs> I didn't even know. And the cards have that um, painted background feel, which I'm assuming is either a filter in a digital medium or it's actually been painted. So many things I don't know. But uh, oh, look, there's a face in the tree. This one as well is really nice. Corso. Maybe choosing a path. This. They are similar and not similar to runes, uh, which I guess is just logical because. And you start scribbling down lines, you kind of come up with honeysuckle. Hmm. The same things. Fagos Beach. I have no idea. I have to look up what these are in, you know, Hungarian as well, so I would know. Oh. If we have them or not, more to see. Well, we don't have a seed, that's for sure. So yeah, those are the cards. There are 55, yes, 55 cards. And let's check what the cores mean. Oh God, that was the Centennial deck deciding to slide down. I really like the paper. It has such a nice quality. Okay, so we have 17. There are totems deities associated with the card the letter o i mean haha <laughs> ah it's orshi it's me it's me it's orshi so it's the letter o it's just kind of perfect keywords are fulfillment and abundance sweetness hope persistence links the inner and outer words gathering together what you need to ensure progress i kind of like that and then there's about a, a longer um, description about the flower or plant as well and there's one section about how is it in the reading upright and I guess there is a reverse as well and there's even a message so it's quite a detailed uh, guidebook which I always like even if I don't always read them at first oh there are ah. 
Okay, let's check. A bird tree. My birthday is the 1st of February, so I... A willow. Hmm. Okay. Oh, are we on the... No yeah, Northern South Hemisphere. I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's cool. That is both. Reading with the how to read with the cards. So yeah, it's it's even it's gonna be a process. So I'm not gonna, you know, start reading bo the book right now. I just want it to be, just you know, do a quick walkthrough before I start working with them. And yeah, that was all. And I know this was awkward, and I don't even know how we can see because I just noticed that there's a big one, big glare. So. Uh, can some uh, summer come back when I can just film without artificial artificial lighting? That was so much easier. But anyway, so yeah, that was all that I wanted to say at the first impression of the Celtic Tree Oracle. And I, I'm quite, you know, looking forward to using them. So I will, I might probably, who knows, will upload videos using these cards in readings as well. So see you in those and in other videos and in the future or in the past <laughs> whatever you're you know whatever you're at at the moment and i'm gonna stop because i'm really not making any sense bye